Hello everyone, my name is Mac and today I'll be talking about Mac CMS. Now you, the first thing you want to do is go to SourceForge. So that's SourceForge.net and you want to search for Max CMS. And then just click on the relevance link. For some reason it doesn't order it by relevance. But when you click on the relevance link you'll see a project with this logo. So just click on that project. Click on download. And it'll download it as a zip file. And uh, you simply extract the content of the zip file into your web root directory or your virtual directory. And I've actually already got it installed in my local host. Notice I'm using IIS. In this, the CMS runs both on IIS and Apache. Alright, so let's go to my virtual directory. And the first thing you'll notice when you when you uh, go to your virtual directory is a working site. And this site can be easily modified by clicking on the login link up here. And you can log in using the credentials found in the config.php file. Now the config.php file is located at the root of wherever you've extracted or installed your uh, installed this uh, CMS. Alright, so you're looking for the edit in edit in place admins configuration setting and right now there's just one pair, one username password pair, but you can have as many as you want. But let's use this current one called admin password. Alright, so once you log in you will see these three links up here. You will see three links above the main content area. So let's click on edit content and talk a little bit about the edit content. And uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. The edit content the edit content link allows you to edit the content of the current site in relation to the current language. So let's just change this to test and let's actually add a YouTube video. Alright, and hit save. Notice how you've you've embedded a YouTube video and you've changed the content and it was that simple. And the edit page property section, when you click on that, you can change the page title, the section title, which is these right here, the uh, meta description, the meta keywords, the page type, uh, the page template. So you can you can have different pages running on different templates if you like, and you can even add new child pages. One thing to note: if you go to the site map section, you can see the hierarchy of the of this of the site, and you can see that the home page is the topmost page. So it's like it's like a master page, and then all the other nodes or child pages. So if you were to go to the home page and click on edit page properties you'll see all these child pages. And each one of these child pages could have their own child pages as well. So let's create a new child page. Call, just cl click on this add new child page. And my child page. Click on add and there you go it's added a new child page. Let's click on the link itself and now you're taken to the child page that you just created and just like any other page you can simply edit content, save and you've just edited the content of the new page that you just created and if you were to go to the sitemap section and there you go that's the uh, it would it would automatically be updated with a new with the new site structure. So let's go back to the home page. Click on edit page properties. And let's just simply delete that. We don't need it. And so that was the edit page property section. Now let's go to the edit site property section. Now the edit site property section is exact is going to be exactly the same for all 
for all pages for all languages. So if you were to go, if you were to change the site name to my site and hit save, it would change it right there. All right. And the edit site property section also allows you to change the default site language. By default, it's English, so you can set it to a, to a different language if you like. You can change the default template. By default, it would be, it's normally by default this, but I've changed it to this. But let's change it back to this and hit save. And notice how the site is running on a different template now and the available languages this is where you can actually add and delete languages so when you click on this add link it pops up a dialog box asking you for the new language simply add a new language and as soon as you add a new language you'll see it added to this language tab up here and if you were clicking on edit site properties you can you can actually set that language to your default language if you like Let's actually click on the let's click on that new language and click on edit content and change the content to whatever you like. So you've you just and it was that simple for you to add a new language and add new content for for that language for that particular page. So let's go back to that new language that you just created. Click on Edit Page Property and change that to New Language Page. Hit save. Notice the title up there. Now you can flip between the different languages and notice how it's notice how the page titles are changing. So it was that simple for you to add a new language and you can add content to that language too. So, so that was a quick walkthrough of the CMS. And if you want to get in touch with me or if you want to add, request new features, have some comments, you can go to my site which is maxframework.sourceforge.net. And come on. All right, and then just click on the chat link, and that'll take you to a chat page where you can where you can request new features. You, if you have any any questions, any comments, you can leave it here. And I've actually already provided support for other people who've used it, and I've and they've actually requested new features and I've added that as well so this is a good place for you to get in touch with me or you could even use SourceForge and you can send me an email through my SourceForge address so um, that's uh, that's it for this tutorial uh, let me know what you think let me know if you've actually downloaded the CMS and used it before and let me know if if you have any sites that are currently using the CMS that we can that I can take a look at. All right, thank you. Bye-bye.